if you want to know the problems to digest your food, you got to mix it with saliva and chew it good. Salivary amylase begins to start digestion, peristalsis, and symbolis in the right direction. Gastroesophageal sphincter will let it through to the stomach where the mixing waves will churn the good. Kind is gastric with the food you wait. It doesn't look like anything that's on your plate. HCL and pepsin denature and cleave proteins to polypeptides before the time can leave it to the duodenum, which starts the small intestine where the steps will be completed of the chemical digestion. Enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver are added to the kind light sewage to a river. Fat is broken up by the salts and bile and digested by the pancreatic lipids for a while. Trypsin is a pancreatic protease, along with chymotrypsin and carboxypeptidase. These will cleave the larger peptides to smaller in the glue, so the small intestine enzymes can hydrolyze them too. Carbs are further hydrolyzed by pancreatic amylase. DNA into nucleotides by pancreatic nuclease. So what's left for the duodenum, jejunum, and the ileum to do before the kind becomes the feces in the seal? Are you kidding? Microvilli has the BEEs, which will finish the hydrolysis of all of these. Lactase, multisuperase, dextranase, and glucoamylase, amino peptidase, light peptidase, carboxypeptidase, nucleotides by nucleosidase and BB phosphatase, nutrient absorption and propulsion of remaining waste. So, onward to the colon, the feces we consolidate, bacteria will ferment any fiber in the carbs we ate, water and electrolytes are further more absorbed, and the defecation 